We previously discussed Cantalot's dark magic library from IDW's The Fall of Sunset Shimmer in relation to the Headless Horse, though that alone doesn't come close to acknowledging the sheer magnitude of how much is actually there. Alongside history-defining titles like Creation of Discord, Evil Origins of Cantalot, what's going on there, Crisis of Infinite Equestrias, and even How to Stop the Unicorn Uprise, you have much more sinister labels like The Pegasus Prophecy, Evil of the Sky, Ghosts, The Haunting of Hill Horse, yes, seriously, The Mare in Black, The Observers, and of course, The Ponyville Horror. Bizarrely, the collection also contains literature on quantum physics, perhaps implying such a field is viewed with equal fear and suspicion as dark magic. Quite obviously enough, many of the topics seem to be either direct or indirect references to outside media, alongside other elements of MLP, including past generations, though other titles are a little bit more ambiguous. The titles themselves give just enough information to draw you in, though we have absolutely no idea what the contents of these books actually are. Nor do we know if this area constitutes a specific wing of Cantalot Library or an entire library itself. What we do know about the area is that it's generally barred from entry. The only individuals we've seen allowed in there have been either royalty, guards, or one of the librarians. Given the prevalence of cobwebs, it's clear even the cleaners aren't allowed in here or just keep their distance. Now, it's not fully understood whether the contents of this section are purely non-fiction. Given the titles visible, it's reasonable to suggest a mixture of fiction and non-fiction. At the same time, however, the fact that such books are in the restricted section implies there is still something up with them. As of yet, the best explanations we can come up with for their placements are either A, many of the books contain forbidden knowledge, i.e. dark truths that irreparably change how one views the world around them, B, many of the books are magical or even cursed, similar to the Inspiration Manifestation spellbook from the episode of the same name, or C, Most of the books are safe, but the entire area is affected by the dark magic of just one or a few books, rendering the entire section dangerous as a result. Even with the ambiguity over their factualness, many of the titles still give us a lot to think about. Unfortunately, with the limited context, thinking is about as much as we can do. If there is more information out there which could be connected to what we have here, it's pretty hard to find. So yeah, here's where we are, seeing a bunch of interesting stories and ideas literally being teased at us. Let me know if you have any thoughts on what some of these could be connected with in-universe. Again, that would be amazingly helpful. Also, I'm really sorry if my throat sounds weird. I've had this sore throat ever since October. I really think something's up with it, but I have no idea what. Either ways, let me know what you think, and thank you all for watching.